Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We are out here in Rancho Del Arroyo. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up for the Great One Grind here in Rancho. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly where you're gonna find Whitetail, how to set up for the Great One, what you'll need, and how to go through and grind for that Great One here in Rancho Del Arroyo. Now I am currently almost 4,200 kills into the grind here in Rancho and I honestly, disclaimer, I do not have a great one yet, but I can certainly show you guys how to set up and grind for the great one here in Rancho. And hopefully we will be seeing that big guy show up very, very soon. If you do enjoy the video guys, make sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to join us for more daily Call the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell and we're gonna head right into it. Okay guys, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is show you exactly where on the map you're gonna be finding Whitetail. I'll show you exactly which lakes you need to search and it is very different here in Rancho Ben and Layton. Most of these lakes are gonna have piles and piles of zones. So finding their zones is not that difficult. So this here is OK Lake. And as you can see by all of the tripods, I have several drink zones here for Whitetail. Actually, every zone on this lake is a Whitetail zone. Yep, nine. Nine zones for Whitetail right there. And that's what we call OK Lake. This is what we call the Great Lakes. And you will find one zone here. And it is usually a really good one. This is Boot Lake. Every single zone there has Whitetail. This is Crab Claw Lake. Usually I have five zones. This zone has been blown out. I'm sure it will pop back very soon. This is Heart Lake. I normally have a zone on the right and the left side. I'm waiting for that one to pop back. Then we have Ghost Lake right here. And every single zone there is for Whitetail. Then here, this is Lobster Lake. Yep, those are all whitetail zones, except for that zone right there. And exclamation lake. And I have two zones on the top lake and one on the bottom. All are whitetail. So I believe that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lakes. Those are the only spots you need to look for whitetail. I have never seen a whitetail drinking on any other lake on this map ever. So that is where you want to start. So I just counted them and I have currently 37 drink zones for Whitetail here in Rancho, but a lot of those zones will have multiple herds in them. So I may still have a zone or two still to pop up to find, but right around there is what you're looking for. 35 to 40 zones, approximately 40 herds is what you're looking for. And that is the same for Layton. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna run around and discover all your zones. Discover them. And once you have them all discovered, then you wanna start setting up with tents and tripods. Now, I personally believe that it is a little different here in Rancho than it is in Layton. Now in Layton, it is really great to farm eight to 10 zones. And I did start that way here in Rancho, but I find the whitetail are spawning all over the place. They don't just spawn from where you shoot them. So there is really no point in only Farming eight to 10 zones, I am shooting whitetail from every zone now. And it is working well for me because they don't always respawn. They don't. Every zone does not respawn with a time change. Now, a lot of them do. And I found they all did right at the beginning of my grind for quite a while, up until I got to, I don't know, 2,500 to 3,000 kills in and they stopped respawning. So what I do is I set up my tent about 250 meters away from the zone and then I put my tripod as close as I can get and the closest I want to be to that zone is about 150 meters because the whole idea is I want to run right up into my tripod find the white tail and shoot you want to do this as fast as you possibly can you don't want to have to slowly creep to your tripod you want to run right into it and jump right in so you don't want to have that tripod too close so it can be a bit of an expensive venture to set up for the Great One grind. So 16 tents and 16 tripods will run you $512,000. You're actually gonna need more than 16 tripods, but the good news is you don't have to have any to start. The tents are imperative, but you can add tripods as your in-game cash grows and you can afford them better. Now I use the Grunt Collar. The Grunt Collar is the best collar, in my opinion, for Whitetail. It brings them out from the furthest away. And there is actually a neat little trick. I actually don't use it a whole lot because I feel silly doing it. 
but you can actually, if you crouch and do the call at the same time, <laughs> don't lay down like this. Apparently that brings them in a little faster. Silly little tricks, right? All right, we have some whitetail here. Now the tricky thing about Rancho is the zones are so close together that when I call for one zone, they come in at all the zones around because they're just so close together. So when I shoot at one herd, the other herd spooks immediately. So I have both herds that have come in here. And that is pretty normal for Rancho. Now I like to do the grind with the M1, but you can use any four to eight class rifle I do highly recommend using the Hyperion. It just gives you the best view so that you're able to take that second and possibly third shot without having the scope block your view. And I really do like to use the Hyperion. Now we, we don't have any very big white tail here, but what I do is I shoot the two biggest bucks that I can see. I try to wait until they come to a stop because they can bolt immediately and not give you that two second window if you don't. Oh, did I get the dough? <laughs> Oops. Well, that didn't work. And at least he is not floating. Now, because the zones are so close together, you do end up having to set up on top of other zones. There's just no way around it. And that's the tricky part about doing the Great One grind in Rancho. Everything is really, really squished together. And this is another thing that often happens. Floaters. And they often don't start floating until you're already halfway to the spot. Then they launch and you have to go back and get them. Luckily, it isn't too far because I do have a tent. Now, unfortunately, they do float very, very slowly. So floaters can really slow down your grind. But the whole idea is to just go around and shoot your two biggest bucks and keep moving and get the most killed in the shortest amount of time possible. Great ones are RNG random number generated. So they are basically luck. So the most you can get down in the shortest amount of time possible, the faster it's gonna be that you spawn that great one. Now, some people can do it in a very short amount of kills, 100 or 200 up to 400. And then there's me who's well over 4,000 and no great one so it is very random and that is a very very tiny buck not very big all right so i want to run right up into my tripods i do have bucks here at this zone perfect now i do like to call them in because you never know what is hiding in those trees and i find a lot of the large bucks they like to come out at the very end so a little tiny bit of patience will do well for you I'm not the most patient person, but I can be. Now, of course, if they are nervous, they will never come into a call. No animal will ever come into a call. And of course, we have a decent buck and we have a little guy. I always like to reload before I start firing. And I'm always trying to get two vital shots. Now, the reason I only take two is so that they will respawn better the second reason I only take two is when I take three, there is a greater chance that I am not gonna make a vital shot on all three. And then I'm gonna have to track and it's gonna really slow me down. So I find it a lot faster to just take the two bucks. And this can happen though. I don't know where the little guy went. There's, oh, there, there is a bunch. So that's from the separate herd. That's the thing. They're so close together, they all hear the call. There he is. And the other big guy, he vanished on me, but that's all right, we got three. They are from two separate herds and it is totally okay to take two from each herd. As long as you're in a tripod. You don't wanna take two from two separate herds, but from the same zone when you're not in a tripod because that will kill the zone. Now, one question I have had from a lot of viewers is how do you keep track of the kills? And that is a really good question. And the simple answer is the game does not keep track of individual kills, only all your total harvest. So you do have to keep track yourself. 
So there are a couple different ways that I have done this in the past. Right now, I'm using a click counter and here is a photo of it right on the screen for you and I just ordered it off of Amazon. There are digital click counters you can get online. And that guy's a 171. Or you can just simply tick each kill on a piece of paper and I have done that as well. But you do have to keep track yourself, unfortunately. And that guy's not too bad and that was a heart shot. So I hit all the zones from this lake and then I move on and I do it all as fast as I possibly can. And as soon as the time hits 11 or 11.30, as soon as I don't see deer anymore, I change the time back to 8.30. I just change the time one time and we keep on moving. So what I'm finding lately, guys, is some of my herds just have does. They just don't get respawns. I check the herd. If there's nothing there, I move on and I check the next one. But by doing that, I am hitting all the zones in Rancho. They can spawn into any zone, so they all have to be checked. So farming eight to 10 zones isn't gonna work in Rancho as far as I'm concerned. It took me a little bit. I started my grind by farming eight to 10 zones. It worked great for a while. And then I started to run out of deer and I thought, what the heck's going on? Actually at this zone right here, I had two bucks and two does and I checked there and there were like 25 bucks in that zone. Each time I did a run, I picked two bucks out of that herd and they did start to spawn back into all the other herds. And that has been happening to me quite a bit. So I find if you are running out of deer, check all your zones. You probably are gonna find a herd where they're all spawning in. And the other thing that could mean is you haven't found all your zones. It is really, really important to find all your zones. And that is a lot easier here in Rancho because you only have to check those eight lakes. It's a lot less of a mystery where to find them. All right, so this is Boot Lake. So when I am farming this lake, I come in here to this tent. This is a whitetail zone, of course, but you have to set up on top of whitetail zones. Now I know this only has a doe in it and normally I would kill it, but I don't really see the point in it. So I jump here, I farm this zone, then I fast travel this tent, pick up my kills, head into this tripod and I kill bucks from this zone and from this zone. I actually do 300 meter shots here. Now I just check this zone because it is impossible to get around and pick up my kills and I don't actually hunt anything out of there. And then I have set up for right over here and I can actually fire right across to this spot right here as well. So just getting around. And that's perfect. Two vital shots and no floaters. Whoa, don't float. Don't do it. All right. Hopefully he's not going to float. Let's get over there quick. And then I have a tent. Super convenient. Double look. So these here, guys, these are what we call zone indicators. And they will tell you how many deer are in each herd. So if you have multiple zone indicators you can actually see how many herds you have in a particular zone and you can take two deer from each herd used to be that any zone once it is discovered will never change but that is not the case anymore that's a pretty nice one another thing i understand is when you put out a call and some deer come in and others don't they are actually in separate herds all right, we're gonna take this guy and this guy. I don't see anybody else who's super impressive. And you will find a lot of the deer will just stand around and not flee. That's just a bit of a bug right now. Now, as you're going through guys, pick up as many tracks as you can because you just never know when you are going to find that special track. Now, as you are doing your grind, guys, you are going to probably spawn quite a few diamond whitetail. Now, the diamond trophy for whitetail is 255, so keep that in mind when you are spotting level twos. If 255 falls in that trophy range, that is a potential diamond, and you want to make sure you get a vital shot. Now, this was a last week. This guy is a massive level three. Just trying to find that second buck and there he is. 
And down he goes. That was sweet. All right. Now, heaters happen when you spawn multiple diamonds or trophy whitetail in a short amount of time, meaning in less than 100 bucks. That means you're on a heater, and if possible, you don't want to get out of your game, even if you can't continue playing while you're in a heater. Leave your game running, if at all possible, and you will have a, a greater chance of spawning that great one. And that was our first big boy, 237, and that was a pretty sweet shot on the trot. And here is our level three. Now, a level three or a diamond white tail is obviously not going to guarantee that you are going to spawn a great one, but it is going to give you a greater chance. So more diamonds sooner is a very good sign. I hope this video does really help you to set up for the great one grind or any grind at all. If you did enjoy it, guys, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Hit that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to check out the hotspots for every single species in the game, check out these where and when super guides. Take care, guys.